Royal is for the SWA heavyweight title. The last man left in the ring will be your SWA heavyweight champion. This is not over the top rope. It's just being thrown out of the ring. Both feet hitting the floor outside the ring. You will be eliminated. Your referees outside the ring, Heath Pierce, Jesse James, and Kenneth Heisch. Where's, uh, where's what's in that tonight? Rusty, you got to Rusty. Okay. And we are underway. Oh wait, you didn't tell me to ring bells, is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. All right, Rusty, we are underway here in a battle royal to begin the show. It is not over the top rope. It is for the SWA heavyweight title. So, one of these guys is going to walk out here heavyweight champion. You got a, you got a, a, have you got a favorite? Yes, Eric the Dragon Andrews. It's his belt. He got stripped of it by Glue's Cannon. That is true. Called by you. That's not true. It wasn't me. It was. Somebody did. I would never pull any shenanigans and whatnot. Got a new referee here Scorpion tonight. Is out. Kid Scorpion has been eliminated. I would say right now, Mexican Dragon working over Eric the Dragons. We got a dragon on dragon. Ooh. Wonder if Eric the Dragon can speak. We got some dragon on dragon action. <laughs> <laughs> now the, the Mexican Dragon, he could, I can see him win this thing. Yeah, and then your lies that you told earlier before the I show would become true. He was the Mexican World Champion. Uh, I want documentation of there. Anyway, back to the action. Documented. He's legal. Mexican Dragon has been eliminated. <laughs> well, that lasted a little real long. Brimstone has been eliminated. Yeah. He, he, he cussed you. He cussed you. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. He said, now, Mama, you had a bump and a boo. Let's pick from who's in here. Eric the Dragon's still there. Big Sutton's there. I think you, you jinxed the dragon. You were talking about you were talking about him and he got in he got disqualified. Well, you shouldn't have been arguing. I'm not gonna tell Whoa. you it's not true. Well we it's thought true. I thought gangster was coming through the ropes, he held on. You just don't believe me. I'd say the United States champion, Blackthorn, he's got just I can see him win this thing. Probably gonna be getting these big old boys up. Every time you mention somebody That's they what? get thrown out. <laughs> well, that, I don't guess all the big old boys are gonna be a problem. Sutton is Shiner down. Sutton has been eliminated as well as Blackthorn. How are they gonna get big old Ray Spears and Snowman out of here? I don't know. But gangster are gonna work on it. Now, Point of the elbow. well, Dragon's doing it. Gangster's doing it. Well, Dragon's in a bad situation there. He's right there on the ring apron. He could easily get knocked off. <laughs> oh, and he did. Like that. Eric the Dragon Andrews has been eliminated. We're down to four guys. Desperado, Gangster, Snowman Steve Slaughter, and Rockhead Ray Spears. These are tag I would say the Gangster is the smallest Whoa, guy in the ring. There, bud. Whoa, Desperado. he almost went out. And we got there it. Snowman, Snowman has been eliminated. We're down to three. Okay, Rockhead Ray Spears, Gangster, and Desperado in there. Like I predicted from the beginning, Desperado is going to win this thing. <laughs> That's your third prediction, fourth I'm prediction. Know, you know. I I'm going to go. Gangster I'm going to go Gangster. I think. Oh, really get it. I think it'd be Desperado. Come on, another low drop kick coming on. There he oh. is. Baseball. Rockhead Ray Spears has been eliminated. Uh-oh, partner against partner, friend against Desperado friend. Desperado and Gangster, tag team partners. The meanest man. And they are the final two here in the Battle Royal for the SWA heavyweight title. But I'm sure that friendship we'll doesn't be, matter when we'll it comes to being a heavyweight man. champion. You're right. It's good. The meanest man in professional wrestling gets the baddest man in professional wrestling. That's well. He you just said, gangster, yeah. "Gangster said he wants that belt." Desperado was like, "Give it up." Who's it gonna fit? Whoever it fits, let's give it to. <laughs> like Cinderella. 
I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of Fit Desperado. Well, here we go, and partner versus shorter. partner, and they're going to team up later on tonight. Whoa. Big back by uh, it's, body slam. Y- there's no pinfall here. You've got to throw him out of the ring. Well, you Headbutt can, by Desperado. Shot to the midsection by right, Gangster. Gangster side. with a right hand Sorry, I and another. I didn't realize he's talking. Boot to the midsection by Desperado. Comes out with a jab to the throat. Now, you know that you got to know being part, tag team partners that you're, you're, the person you're facing is going to cheat. I mean, yeah, it's they, Desperado they, and Gangster. Hey, you got the meanest man against the baddest man. You pick which is meanest and which is baddest. Uh, the original dirty white boy, gangster. Maybe they'll flip a coin. You want to flip a coin to see who on? They don't call him gangster. They're, I think he... gangster's going to try to flip. <laughs> so he's wanting to throw him, throw him out. There you go. He's a real friend. He number one contender. Gangster Bell. has been eliminated, and the winner of the match. And your SWA heavyweight champion is Desperado. What a friend. What a true tag team partner. There he goes. What's he going to do? Oh, he's not going to. I thought he was going to smack. Once again, your winner of the Battle Royal, and he is your SWA heavyweight champion. Desperado. Just like I said from the beginning, Desperado would win the championship. Welcome, folks, to SWA Wrestling right here to National Guard Armory. The bell has been rung. We have got the return of Kid Scorpion taking on the United States champion, Blackthorn. Both of these men, wily veterans of many wars. Blackthorn, tough as nails, tough and mean, pound for pound, the toughest wrestler in the SWA. And this is the voice Tim Miner ringside with Rusty the ref. Tim Miner, I've been waiting on it. Look at that drop kick. No ring rust on that. Kid Scorpion back. For those of you who've never seen him before, longtime veteran in SWA has not been with us for some time. But he is back. Well, right now, Black throwing at ringside with Beast, taking his time getting back in there. Good to see the Beast back tonight. And the crowd over here chanting chicken. Beast is having some health issues with knee things. So he's not been able to be with us much, but we're glad when he is here. Scorpion in his corner. You might remember some guys called the lick the wicked click. Well, oh, oh, for the ride. Now that ought to be an automatic DQ. But Jesse's going to let it ride like he usually does, or let Thorne ride. But uh, one of those. Well, Thorne was riding, all right. Yeah. Well, he was the, riding the, the ropes. Click was, he was riding the ropes there. Was doing so good, one of their main opponents was uh, Kid Scorpion and Kid Rock. It's a lot of history there. Right hand there by Kid Scorpion, backs him in that corner. Shoots Blackthorn in. Thorn coming off. Big clothesline there. Looking pretty good for not being in the ring in a while. There's a two count. Well, so Jesse wasn't ready for this match to be over. That We wouldn't have been able to see his hand move. Oh, Just in case low blow know. there by Blackthorn. Sure low blow. United States champion Blackthorn is the man in the black and silver tights. The man in the street attire, which he always wore, is Kid Scorpion, who just got tossed out of the ring. Well, as he's tossed out of the ring, Beast over here. 
Working over him with that cane. Now, if you're ever wondering, Beast does not pull that cane at all. He knows how to use it. Throat, right to the throat. He throttled him. Jesse arguing with Thorne about this or that while Kid Scorpion paying the price. Out comes Black Thorn. In goes Scorpion. Uh, we're going to see uh, some Swanton action here. Swanton! That's Kid! And back into the ring goes Black Thorn. First 10 of the evening. Foots on the rope. The wing. Scorpion ring wise there. No one worries at at all times. Out goes Scorpion again. Jim McAllister, the beast. He says Alistair, but I don't accept that it's McAllister. Making sure Jesse James sees he's not doing anything. In the meantime, Thorne out there laying the chops. The kid Scorpion firing that chest up. Let's see if Kid Scorpion, yeah, he retaliated, came back with a fist, I rate my thorn. Pop to the head by Thorn. In goes Scorp. Thorn telling the fans to shut up. That's the way he said it. If Beast would get out of that cameraman's way, he could get a good shot. Well, you know, <laughs> it's hard to get a shot around him, he's so big. Beast uh, panting and pacing like a wild Duck animal. under by Kid Scorpion and a double clothesline. Both men down. That'll take your head right off, I'm telling you. A good shot now. Both men down. I don't, is Scorpion tapping out? He better watch it. Jesse may take that for tapping out. Scorpion both men back up to their feet and blocked there by Scorpion. <laughs> and now he's giving the right hands to Blackthorn. Shoots Blackthorn into the turn corner over here to the right. Here oh. comes Scorpion and misses with a splash. Pinfall. Oh, feet on the ropes. One, he got the win. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match by pinfall, Blackthorn. Once again, your winner by pinfall is Black Thorn. All right, folks, we're underway with our second matchup of the evening, or third matchup of the evening. We started off with a battle royal, and we crowned a new heavyweight champion, a Desperado. And then we had a good matchup, Kid Scorpion back here in the SWA taking on Black Thorn. Black Thorn got the win by pinfall. And now we have Mexican Dragon taking on Brimstone. Hey, y'all have, have to stay away from the table. Hit toss there. Drop kick. Flip up. Big clubbing forearm. Tim Miner, I'm confused. Both of these guys are fan favorites. We usually don't have two of the good Big guys. clothesline there by Mexican Dragon. And down to the mat goes Brimstone. We don't have two of the good guys wrestling each other, so that's interesting. Big back elbow there by Mexican Dragon. <laughs> big, two big tough guys. Dragon's going to shoot Brimstone in. Here comes Dragon going monkey flip. Oh, yeah. Supersonic monkey flip. That's a kid. No, it's, that's a. Dios. What, what, I don't know. I don't speak Spanish. Vio con Dios, my darling. <laughs> and right now, Desperado, not Desperado, Blackthorn, no, not Blackthorn, <laughs> Brimstone getting beat down. Well, now that I've made my statement, it looks like the Dragon's having a little attitude here. What's his problem with Brimstone? Is he not like painted face? He probably just don't like Brimstone. <laughs> well, not very many people like Brimstone. Oh, Remember, like brimstone. Hey, jerky, I don't even like brimstone. <laughs> oh, big power slam off that rope, middle rope there. Snap mare off of it. Was it snap mare or is it? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't think to counter. Uh, you know. Elbow drop there by the yeah. Mexican Dragon, and Dragon has got the upper hand here. Goes for the pinfall. Kenneth Heitch maneuvers himself into position to make a count and gets a two count. 
I'm telling you, when Kenneth is counting, there is no doubt what count you're on. The floor shakes. Not not just the ring floor, the concrete floor. He shakes the ring rust off the ring. <laughs> and <laughs> duck under, the and there's Thorn. the clothesline by Brimstone. Now Brimstone a little bit fired up. Now he's got a big back of himself. Stone's had all he could take. And Mexican out. Dragon said he broke my ribs. He broke my ribs. <laughs> he's Italian. <laughs> Come on, he's the Italian. <laughs> he's the Italian Dragon tonight. Two and a two count. Try it. Arriba, Arriba, Andale, Andale. That's Speedy Gonzalez. El Ribo's broke. Is that? I don't know. I'm not a Mexican. I don't speak Spanish. Let me see your green card right now. I... <laughs> he wants a timeout. He's called for it. Brimstone did not give it to him. He's going to step on his throat instead. Of course, that might be Brimstone's idea of a timeout. Stand on a man's throat. want to thank you for watching SWA Wrestling right here on YouTube.com, on uh, 2K9 Videos, and following us and liking us on Facebook at Saturday Morning Wrestling, where you can get all of your wrestling footage from SWA each and every week. I'm going to have to buy me a dragon dragon language book. I just don't understand what he says. Oh, maneuvers himself to kick Brimstone right in the forehead. Pop the chrome dome. And now he's going to snap Merriam. What's he going to do here? Snaps that neck on over. Snap Mexican suplex. Oh, yeah. We're going to do three amigos. There you go. Here comes another one. No. Nope. Two amigos. What's he going to do? Go to the top? So that was, fly. that was dos amigos. amigos. Ready. That's your 10. We'll give him a dos. A dos. Dos. A dos is two. Dos. That's two. The ace. The ace. I'm sorry. Whoa. A 10. Beautiful swanton mom from the top rope. Brimstone seems to be in some pain there. Yeah. As Mexican Dragon drops that elbow right across the sternum. That'll hurt. One, two, three. He got it. What a count. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match by pinball, the Mexican Dragon. Alrighty, folks, we are back here. We have Eric the Dragon Andrews taking on Snowman Steve Slaughter. <laughs> Referee is Kenneth Heitch. And as soon as I get Rusty back over to the ring, I'm going to go be a monkey cam. Why are you telling everybody all this? Because I, I just I needed you back over here. Let's start over. <laughs> I want to let them know where I'm going. Well, let's start over. Folks, this is Chill Miner, and I'm here along ringside by myself because, oh, I do have Rusty here. There's no reason to start over. Just commentate. Chill Miner, I am glad to be here. I am Rusty the rep, the armchair rep, the ringside rep of the SWA. Call it better right here on the ringside than Kenneth Hype, Jesse James, any referee we've got, Heath Dudley, you name it, then they can do it in the ring. I see all, I call all, tell it as it is. Right now you've got Eric the Dragon Andrews, the big man in the pink. And then he is wrestling the snowman, the big man in the black, white, and gray with a white t-shirt on tonight. Your referee, Kenneth Hyde. The man standing over there close to the ring is Tim Miner, the commissioner. And tonight he is dubbing as cameraman, trying to get some candid shots of this match. Somebody got anxious and rang the bell again to get it started. <laughs> Someone forgot they'd already rang the bell. Okay. So I criticized myself because Tim Miner wasn't here to do it. Collar and elbow tie up. 
Snowman back and dragging in to the ropes. Clean break by Snowman. That's something you don't see very often. Snowman act like he might take a punch anyway. Dragon's telling the referee to get him away, make him break clean, make him go by the rules. Eric the Dragon Andrews, a fine specimen of a wrestler. He is a veteran of the sport. Not, I believe, uh, 12, 13 years in the sport. Snowman, a 25 or more year veteran. Snowman's been all over the Southeast, held all kinds of titles. As has Eric Andrews. Oh, big, big punch there, thrown with Snowman. Yeah, I want you to realize that Snowman drew first blood. He was the first one to cheat. And Eric Andrews is saying, I am the sexiest man alive. And there you saw the first fist thrown with Snowman. And you people cheered it. What is wrong with you? How do you set an example for your children of rule breaking? No wonder America is the way it is today. No wonder we have so much crime and violence. You celebrate this man ripping at the eyes and hitting the man with a fist, breaking all the rules. How dare you? This is Eric the Dragon Andrews. You should be respected. Him. By his own admission, he's the sexiest man alive. Snowman comes out here and cheats like, like a dog, and you applaud him for it. Eric Andrews, he's got his beard. See, now once again, he's pulling his beard. That's illegal. You cannot pull beard. Cannot pull beard. Oh! Referee Kenneth jerked his hand away, and he yanked the whiskers right off the dragon's face. Jack Swagger, or not Swagger, I'm sorry. Jack Slaughter, Snowman's manager, looking on, as he always does. Jack's an interesting guy, sort of got his own tune going on in his head at all times. But when it comes time, he'll take care of business. Clean break again. And while you're at, now Snowman's going to act like he's a good guy. That he's a that he is a clean cut wrestler. Why are you breaking now? Collar and elbow tie up. Once again, a big man back in the big man, the bigger man back in the big man back up to the corner. Another clean break. Just trying to make him mad. That's what he's doing. Eric's saying he thinks he's bad. <laughs> Eric said, you think he's bad? And then he said, I'm going to knock him out. Yeah, knock him. Boom. Big clothesline there, but a snowman. Snowman Steve Slaughter doing some damage here tonight. Big back elbow by Slaughter. Big European uppercut there. Another one. Man. Another European uppercut. Catching him around the chest, the neck. Arms sort of wrapping around. Another clothesline. We're going to get a count. Two. Whoa. Dragon kicked out. Two counts. Telling you, when Big Ken counts, these wrestlers better not get in the way. He will slap, knock them out with that count. Little backbreaker action there. One, two, two count. Dragon still kicked out. I think you need to, you're going to have to hook his tight, Snowman. Snowman came out here being mean tonight. Crank it back on that neck. Crank it some more. Dragon tried to pull hair. There's no hair to pull. Well, you know, there are eyes to gouge. If Steve Slaughter in this situation, he'd gouge an eye. Oh, surf, a rather bow and arrow in it. Doing the crossbow here. Yeah. 
Chief, we're gonna, what are we gonna do now? Big stomp. We're gonna do the Garvin stomp on him. Made famous by Ronnie Garvin, stomping all around. Yes, folks, this is SWA, where the action is. You can guarantee to come out with a good time and a good cheeseburger if that's what you want. All served with a woman with a clean bra. Oh, Big Ten got two again. Man, keep your head out of the way of that count. What we're gonna do, go to Irish whip him into the far turnbuckle. Gonna have a big stinger splash, looks like. All yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, here it goes. Were you gone? I didn't notice. It was so, yes, I did. It was very peaceful. No one criticized me, even when I rang the bell twice. Oh, waited too long. Dragon got out of the way. This might be the end. Chop block. A la Ric Flair. Beautifully done. Dragon needs to, to get up and do something after he did that shot block, though, but the block's been taken out of him. Oh, that's what he's going to do, another shot block. Steve Slaughter does have some, some knee issues. You name any wrestler has been in the business 20-plus years, and they're going to have knee issues, usually if it's one-plus year. As you can see there, the dragon has got his own knee all braced up. Might as well just go ahead and take that brace off and give it to Snowman now. I'm going to do a figure four. That's what he's setting him up for. Weaken those leg muscles a couple of chop blocks. Then he stomped on him. I, Tim Miner, I don't think... I don't think the Dragon has done anything illegal this whole match. Well, that's the first thing. Steve Slaughter's done a lot. I don't understand these people. He's not over here trying to keep the. He, he's not in the right corner. He's giving some and cheering. He, that's Don't all he's doing is cheering. You need to get him in the right corner to start with. I don't like that. I don't trust him. Sneaking around over here. I'm having some problems with my microphone. Now the dragon has had that on figure four on for there we well go. over a minute now. And now he's using that bottom rope. He needs to. You know you can't believe these fans. Well, the they crowd are. right there yelling that Eric Andrews used that bottom rope. What's it matter? When he saw Steve Slaughter openly use a fist, he did not say a word to him. Didn't say open up your fist. You can't do that. He just let him do it. So let the dragon use the ropes. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Dragon's going to go for it now. This way you take a big man down, by the way. He's going to do the figure four leg lock around the ring post, or is he going to just ram in the ram ring post? Ram in the ring post. There he goes, slamming that leg into the ring post. Evidently. And uh, He just asked us who's the greatest. Are you going to answer? There, I don't think the fans agree. Well, of course not. These fans lie all the time. Uh-oh, Jack's getting into it. <laughs> Did he say you and you're ugly? Jack said, "Don't do that to my brother." And he said, "That's his son." So you they've son. already announced it. Well, they they might not tell the truth either. That is his son. Well, he breaks the count, walks through the ring ropes, and comes back on the other side. Somebody call nine one one for Jack. <laughs> I don't think that. Uh, Snowman's old enough to have a 27-year-old son, but okay. It's 27 to me. Seven, eight, oh. He broke the count. He also broke the leg of uh, Snowman. Well, That's not a good thing for Snowman. 
Snowman really needs to make a tag. <laughs> I, I'm a Snowman fan. I didn't sound like tonight, but I was mad at the fans because they were condoning him using illegal tactics. Well, Eric Andrews is brutally working over the leg of Snowman Steve Slaughter. Not good for Snowman. I don't know if he's going to be able to walk out of here or not. Well, now he's working on the other leg. If I remember correctly. No, no that's the right leg. He was he just making the other leg. <laughs> well, you're about as smart as these fans we got here. I bet I tell the truth, despite what you say. Man, that's yet to be I, seen. If I say something that's not true, I believe it to be the truth. I've been told that it's the truth. You believe anything anybody tells you? Yeah. Except for you. Because if you will use your bias and prejudice as the commissioner of SWA Wrestling to purposely, purposely change the outcome of matches. Over and over, you've done this, Tim Miner. I have never, ever oh, yes, done anything man. out of the way. I have never, ever, Don't ever. Don't tell the people that. Don't ever sit there, liar, liar, pants anything. on fire. Look out. We need a fire extinguisher over here. Tim Miner's pants are spontaneously combusting for the miss, for the half truths he's telling. You're the one that tells the half truths all the time. You, I recall. don't say that. These fans know I'm telling the truth. Eric Andrews working over that leg. Eric Andrews <laughs> continue to work over the leg. Now, what I think needs to happen here, I'm just going to tell you. It's already, Snowman has already established he don't care anything about the rules. So Jack needs to get involved. Jack needs to distract Eric Andrews. Jack, 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 Jack just needs to sit over there, Jack. No. Jack don't need to get involved. Jack needs to get involved here. Oh, that's... Eric knows, knows how to make a man hurt. He needs to distract Eric so Snowman can get an edge on him. Oh, the unmerciful attack of the dragon. He's... What if he's ready to breathe fire yet? He's going to break his leg. I oh. He might be ready to put him out, Tim Miner. Who's the man? That's what he's saying. No, he said who's the greatest. Oh, okay. Who's the greatest? Who's the sexiest? And not a single person in the building agrees that he's the greatest. Well, I don't know if he's the greatest, but he works right up there. It's hard to say who's the greatest. Well, you got your nose so up, some people's behinds. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I've never done anything like that. You just say any old ugly thing you want to say. Just accuse me of being a liar. When everybody out here knows I tell the truth, you're the one. I call it right down the middle. You cheat them out of their wins. Dragon's still going for it. What kind of family show you think this is where we got noses sticking up people's rear end? That don't happen on FWA. <laughs> Well, it's not like I kiss my mom with his lips, but I do kiss your mom with him. And she thanks you. <laughs> but thank I thank you. Keeps her from aggravating me all the time. Well, she, needs, she, she just needs to stop chewing tobacco, though. <laughs> she does not chew. She dips. And he's trying to break the leg, continuously oh! working over the leg. I'm going to give this whole body of work, leg work here at the end. Because he is taking his... <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Jack doesn't like the way that you Jack, score it. <laughs> hey, Jack, it's a 10, Jack. A whole body of work on this leg. You take a man that outweighs you by 100 pounds, that's what you do. You take he your is, leg out. Jack, very upset that you're scoring uh, Eric Andrews on his involvement of... Breaking the leg of Snowman. Whoa! Right on the chin and the nose. He can't put any pressure on that leg. His He can't keep his weight on it. So, so when he stepped out of there, he went straight to the mat. He's... Oh, he just, he, move his, leg is, his leg's been worked over so much that he just can't stand on his own two feet. I'll give Snowman a 10 for that cat-like move he did. 
Did he? Uh, Are you talking about down? him falling to the floor? Yeah. <laughs> no. When he most cats, most cats, down. when they fall to the floor, they land on their feet. <laughs> <laughs> their face? No. When he shot out of the corner. Not down. that I'm laughing at him because I don't want to kick your head off or my head off. He, oh well, he can kick your head off. I don't think he's gonna kick anything tonight. He's going to he's stopping the match. Well, then he needs to award the match. He needs to raise Eric's hand. Eric's the winner. He called the match. Kenneth Heitch. Technical knockout. He's saying that that's enough. Does that ring the bell, Tim Miner? No, not until he asks you to. It's a technical knockout. He's stopping the match. So, let's put a, here, let's put a win for Eric Andrews. Go ahead and write it down. This is this could be scary. That was a beast head that just went by. I shake whenever he comes by. Ring the bell. bell. Eric Andrews is a winner by technical knockout. No. What's he calling here? Well, I've already called it, Tim Miner. Eric Andrews is a winner by technical knockout. What is the result of the match? There you go. Yeah. Kenneth Heitch has awarded the match to Eric Andrews because Snowman Steve Slaughter can no longer go. His leg, come on now. The match is over. And Eric Not Andrews continuing to work over. He's got a chair now, folks. Come on now, the match is over. He's got, oh, he's going he's to permanently damage that leg. He's trying to break the leg. And Eric is not intimidated at all by the referee. It's enough, he says, the referee, Kenneth says. Come on now, the match is over. Going to the top rope. Uh, Jack should do something right here. Jack, you should grab him. Oh, yeah! That's it! Come on now! Come on now, the match is over. He hit that leg so hard, I think my leg's broken. Oh, man, one more. Go ahead. Yeah, we like it. Don't. There comes Ray Spears. What's Ray Spears doing in here? Ray Spears don't have any business out here, Tim Miner. They don't have any business out here. I guess right now. I don't guess. Yeah. <laughs> Eric Andrews. Has left snowman Steve Slaughter laying in the ring. And Jack. Ladies and gentlemen, this matchup is scheduled for one fall. It is for the SWA Tag Team titles. Your referee is Jesse James. Well, knock the microphone over. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the SWA Promotions is proud to present the greatest rock and roll band in the world, Metal Heart! Kids world, kids world, kids world. <laughs> he doesn't pull something. 
<laughs> it's funny. <laughs> I think he hurt himself. And he's going to get the roadie to... What are you laughing at? <laughs> Tin Man did the splits. He could be a cheerleader. <laughs> That's not funny. He's tuning his guitar now. They're trying to get him in E sharp. <laughs> a roadie did it. <laughs> did you notice when Sam Houston went to give... The roadie, a high five. He hit him in the forehead to the hand. <laughs> Be careful with those those it's, it's, instruments. They are like uh, Stradivariuses of the guitar world. Please be careful with. Once again, this matchup is scheduled for one fall. It is for the SWA Tag Team Titles. Your referee is Jesse James. All righty, folks, we are here at ringside. I am going to go do some up-close camera work. Beast is going to join you. Just leave that microphone off right over here. And Rusty the ref. We're going to have Rusty the ref and Jim the Beast, Alistair at ringside. Jesse's checking them out. Shooting star said uh, they're doing some shenanigans and whatnot. He's got on a rubber glove. <laughs> Jim, he's put on a rubber I've never seen a referee use a rubber glove to inspect. What is he doing? I know my doctor's done this a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, <laughs> that, that's just that's just wrong in so many ways. <laughs> look out! Look out! Look out! And the, the stars have come out, kicking and punching. Would like to point out, which I like to do, who cheated first. The Star Brothers. Of course they did. Yeah. The Star does not cheat. They improvise. Jesse James called for the bell, so this match is officially on. <laughs> for those of you that are wondering, that is Matt Starr in the ring right now. His brother and tag team partner. Oh, big move there. On the outside is Nathan Starr. Tim Scruggs is the one. That the president is getting the beating, but that'll stop. And his tag team partner, James Dudley, um, that just jumped in the ring. <laughs> Referee Jesse James. I am here with Jim the Beast McAllister. Tim Miner calls you Alistair. It's McAllister. No, it's Alistair. No, it's not. I always call you McAllister. <laughs> okay. Dudley saving again. Jesse James said, get in your corner. Take hold of that rope. Big high leg, Larry. Yeah, the Star Brothers are really, really good, but they cannot compete against Metalhawk. I don't think they're going to. Tim is just letting them, he's just filling it out, you know, getting his, uh, letting them uh, use some energy, use their adrenaline. Remember, they did Pearl Harbor them, too. They cheated right off. Yeah, right off. Big cross body from the top. That did look good. Nathan Starr got a kick to the head for his efforts. <laughs> Stay in there till you tag, Jesse said. See, he's letting both of them at yeah. the same time. The referee's cheating. And so they're taking on three different people and Tim Miner. Tim Miner's up on ringside, so he can put his two cents in. He'll probably hook a leg or something. I think he's getting close-ups of, of James Dudley's uh, booty. I think that's what he's after. He must be taking it for Sam. <laughs> well, James Dudley and Tim, uh, Tim Strike said they were going to have him bronzed. I don't know what all that meant, but for, pro for posterity or posterity or something. Whoa! For the ride. That, that was a good move right there. Let's find 
Yeah, they are. Just bothers me because all these little girls like them. Well, What's wrong? You are in Lay Flat, Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> little pun intended, right? They're all kin in some shape or form. Right? <laughs> okay, then lay flat, Tennessee, huh? Looking like that. Yeah, I guess they're all cousins some way. My own grandpa type thing. Tin man needs a tag. You don't ever hear those words said very much, but he does. Yeah. Dudley saving a Oh, and Dudley's so quick, the referee almost doesn't even see him. Popped to the head by Matt Starr. Big leg lariat or drop kick or something like that. Two count. Oh, no, Jesse's still counting slow. You know it's over when he counts fast. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to say that kind of stuff. But you'll see it'll be very obvious. You know he's done that to you. Even when he counts fast, he counts slow. <laughs> you know he's done that. He's the quickest count in the west, in the east, in the north, in the south. There you go. I've seen him count your shoulders down many a time. So are you I told everyone you you know you've had problems with your knees lately. Uh, any chance you'd be getting back in the ring or is that no, uh, getting in the ring, unfortunately, as bad as I want to, is not going to be possible. Well, I will miss that. But you're, you're wonderful outside, despite what Tim Miner says. Look at this. It's a good move. Now Dudley needs a tag. Go do it again. Uh, should I give that a 10? Yeah, yeah I'll give it a 10. got to say that was a good move. That's good. I'll give it a 10. Irish whip into the far near turnbuckle. In comes, oh, backsplash. A little kick. Dudley went down like a sack of potatoes. They need to, they need to tag or do something. This is, oh, there you go, an irate. Jim Man calling for his guitar. He's going to use a foreign object here. <laughs> I've seen the honky talk man do it. <laughs> I've seen Billy Travis do it. Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> the outlaw Ron Bass. I guess he hit him when his guitar worked after all. Dudley baited him right in. Ten men working him over on the outside. That'll do it. That was a 10. That, love it when a plan comes true. That was a hit. Yeah, hit. Yeah. That was the number one on the charts yeah. right there. Baby. There you go. I'll have to remember that. Mind if I use it? I'll sign the right to it. Okay, thank you. I'll, I'll give you credit. Look at it, Dudley. There you go, baby. Now Dudley's going to fly. Here we go. Oh, wow. That's 10. He was up there. He must have been. What? Brothers ain't the only one that is looking floppy. Whoa. Whoa. He was over his head. That was a 10. He, oh, yeah. He had to he had angle down. Man. So that was the number one. Matt Nathan about close to that six-foot mark. And Dudley was up over that. Double team here. This is where they're so good. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Boom. Great, great time, team, <laughs> You play a little music. Yeah. You being a music lover yourself and a musician, got to love it. Matt, or Nate, rather Nathan fighting back, but to no avail, Dudley's got it now. Tag. Oh, kick. Knee. Love it. That good double team in there. Ten man going to. Boom. Ow. 
He's writing a new metal Christmas song. <laughs> what would that be called? That's called No More Bells. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how's it go? He's got no more bells anymore after that. <laughs> no more bells, no more bells. Screaming all the way. Here we go, Irish whip. Heel kick. Beautiful. Beautifully executed. I gave that a 10, by the way. Trying to fight back. That uh, doesn't seem to be doing any good. Oh, he's in there with the man, man. Ten man's not through working him over yet. Oh, the, in here we go. Incoming bonsai. That is a ten. I'm getting a little soft to my old age. I. I don't always yell out the tens anymore because the wrestlers get jealous. Well, anything I do, the tens. Well, well, yeah. Yeah. But and it, in a match like this, you could just like say, hold it up all the time. Double team again. Oh yeah. Boom! Uh, big double fist to the forehead. Got those little scary skeleton gloves on too. Like that guy on the Storage Wars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, what's up with that? Anyway, that's not. <laughs> Sam Houston, the third, is using that cane. I lost. Oh, Tim Miner's on the other side. Sam working over the cane. <laughs> Tim Man giving a the moon there. In the meantime, Dudley doing his job, along with Sam. I think these belts are going to change hands. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. Two count. It's all according. If Tim Miner comes back up close to the ring, I'll change. I don't think they'll change hands because he'll find a way. As long as he stays over there. The metal. Oh yeah. The. Tim Miner, Jesse James gave the belts to uh, to the, the stars by giving five more minutes. They gave 30 seconds and they, they double pinned them. But they still had four minutes and 30 seconds left. They wouldn't give the 10 man and Dudley five more minutes. Should have made it two out of three at that point. Yeah, they should have. But no, we got to do things unfair. Ten men athletically exiting the ring. Now Nathan's fighting back. I'm telling you, here we go, make a sandwich. Slice the bread. Beautiful, beautiful. Love it. That's Tim. Wake up, wake up, Matt. Matt gets so mad. Look at him. Look, he's trying to come in the ring right there, trying to cheat. He's jealous because he did not move on. Yeah. <clears throat> now, the Tin Man and Dudley didn't tag, but that's going to upset people. But it doesn't matter. Dudley's had an hour. He could have gone over there and tagged <laughs> He had a good 30 seconds for the tag. They just did a benefit just then for the Maple Wish Foundation. <laughs> he wished his brother was in there probably. Exactly. He might do it. Come on, Dudley, do your magic. There's too much experience there for that to happen. Yeah, outsmarted by the misdirection. That was beautiful, right there. Loved it. Now, once again, that they could have tagged. It doesn't really those. That doesn't really matter. They just show up out of Yeah. Now Matt Starr coming in, that matters. He's nowhere near a tag. That's just blatant rule breaking. I like this. You agree with everything. Just about everything. Well. How much money you got. <laughs> Jesse just about tackled the star 
Nat Starr after a tag was made. But once he had the great misdirection, Tim man calling for a tie. Oh, dive through clothesline. Up to the top. Turn around, Nate. Boom! Missile! Drop kick. Deadly. That was a 20. He had just loaded with 10s tonight. We're going to call that the scale. You know, before it's over with, we're probably going to have to take up a collection to get that couple over there a, re- a room. <laughs> it, look, Tim Miner's getting it on tape. Remember, it's a family show, Tim Miner. <laughs> Not without consent, anyway. All right. Whoa! Nate came up with a big move. That had to be reflex. There's nothing left. He's going to get a tag. Quit. You need to quit waving and tag. <laughs> Boom. He got it. In comes Matt. But a house on fire. Ladies and gentlemen, this is action, I'm telling you. It's getting hot in here, brother. <clears throat> You know, you might need to go in and help the officiate, officiate this match. This match needs something. Because I know Tim. Well, Tim Mann and Nathan Starr just went over the top rope. Both of them look pretty pretty rough right now. Nathan's hurt. Big time in there. And then in the ring. Whoa. Did you hear the pop on that move? I got this. Oh, you are? Go help him. The beast has entered the ring. He is tired of this blatant cheating. Just so, oh, a torture rack. Boom. I give that a 10. Putting Dudley on top. I don't know. I thought he was going to go in and help officiate, and he did. He even things out. I had no idea you was going to do that, Jim. Well, I'll give you a 10. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the match by pinfall and your new SWA Tag Team Champions, the 10-man Tim Scruggs and James Dudley, Meadowheart, Metalheart has won the match. Fair and square. They just righted the wrong that you did three weeks ago. You and Jesse James. Metal rules forever. I had no idea he was going to do that. Though I think it was needed. I think it was called for. Jesse James wouldn't keep the Star Brothers once again coming in and as they wanted to, double teaming, just cheating all the way. Was the winners of the match and your new tag team champions? And why wouldn't they be the Ten Man Tim Scruggs and James Dudley, Metalheart? They are the new tag team champions. Oh, yeah. And might I add deserving. They're hitting each other with. He doesn't even know how he won. It's unlike the Star Brothers not to be whining around about. Ladies and gentlemen, your tag team champions. Metal Heart. They're very happy. And very, very. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I think they forgot. Uh, <laughs> they got a little carried away there. 
Got a little too close. They are all man, uh, let me tell you. I'm telling you, something's wrong here. The Star Boys have not whined one moment about <laughs> losing this match. It just doesn't like them. Versus Tim Miner. <laughs> SWA, we got our gold back. Lord knows, I don't know. But that's how we won. So that's all that matters. But we will make you people proud of your new SWA Tag Team Champions. And we may not ever win another wrestling match again, but we'll bet you one thing, we will bring heavy metal back forever! Once again, you winners of the match, and you tag team champions, Metal Heart. Oh, and by the way, where did Lumberjack go with a tank top and take care of our instruments? Hey, Rody, I hate, I hate to break this news to you, man, but we're going to have to let you go. I, it just part of the job, you know. It's, that's how rock and roll is, man. One day you're on top. <laughs> And next day you're on the bottom, you sell a hit record, and then you're peddling junk out of the trunk of your car. And right now, brother, you're peddling junk out of the trunk of your car. So we have hired, we have hired Beast, which is a professional roadie and a professional wrestler and a professional manager. This man has been on tour with all the big boys, Motley Crue, Def Leppard, Kiss, Iron Maiden. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's, he has twerked with Miley. Miley Cyrus is not metal. But she can twerk. <laughs> but from now on, you take care of all our equipment. You make sure everything gets done right, which I know you will, because I've known you a long time. Not only am I a professional wrestler, I'm a professional musician, and this guy right here, man, we got some road stories. James Dudley, the Kamikaze Kid, Sam Houston III, The Beast. You take care of business, we'll take care of business in the ring. You take care of business out of the ring. So we'll see you people here next week. You don't talk to them, Beast. All you idiots! That's them. <laughs> Which is every last one of you in here. Some dumber than others. <laughs> They've made the best choice in their life hiring me because they're going to take over everything. Not just the titles, but everything. You take care of your end, I'll take care of mine. And they're going to wear that gold the rest of their career. Brother. Desperado. <laughs> and like I said earlier, that's And Gangster have been challenged by Rockhead. Second one, two on one, ring that bell. And it is two on one. Rusty, what do you think about this? I think Ray Spears, even though he is a giant of a man, has got a long night ahead of him. I said somebody's going to get hurt when Desperado and Gangster came out, and my prediction is true. However, well, it's supposed to be a tag team match, and they're... Two on, they're double teaming him. Well, sh no man probably can't be out here because of his knee. Yeah, he was attacked earlier by Eric the Dragon Andrews. Eric Andrews left him. Well, 
uh, in a lot of pain. Getting right in the middle of the ring. And the Rockhead sister over there throwing a fit. Is that his sister? Might be his wife, who knows? She keeps trying to hit Death Prada with a cane. Oh, she gonna she told she she gonna desperado, I'll knock you out. Come on. So Rusty, I'm gonna go over here. I may talk over you, I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, if I look at you and you're not talking, I may talk. You just have to do a good job of editing. Anyway, Sam Houston in on the action. Look out look. <laughs> Desperado can't leave that woman alone. He, he, he's got a couple of them over there trying to hit him. And all he's doing is making it so Sam Houston and his tag team partner, Gangster, can work over Ray. <laughs> and Kenneth can't see Sam Houston right there. <laughs> now the great... It's going to be a long night for Ray Spears. I don't see how he can do it. Get up, Ray, if you can. You need to. Because if you know, you're going to go the way of Snowman. This is choked by Desperado. Now, if any man could whip both these men, it'd be Desperado. Now, his best chance is to normally would be to knock the lighter, smaller man, Desperado, out. Security doing a good job tonight. They sure are, but I don't think Desperado, I mean, I don't think Gangster's ever been knocked out. <laughs> I don't know. I think we saw Buddy knock him out one night just about. That's true. Well, okay, well, maybe he can do it. You're right, Buddy did knock him out one night. Well, earlier tonight. But that was Buddy, and that was after an hour beating on him. Earlier tonight, Desperado became the SWA heavyweight champion. During a battle royal that we held at the beginning of the show, and it came down to him and Gangster as the final two, and Gangster told him, hey, throw me out. He gave it to him. What a friend. Would you do that for me? Yeah. Well, you're not even my, I'm not even your friend. Right? You're not even my friend. Why would you do that for me? We're, we're <laughs> tag team partners. I, I would have thrown you out. When Ray Spears, I wouldn't do that for you. When Ray Spears hits hits. Oh, wait. When, when, Ray when Spears. you slap Ray Spears in the face, I was faithful to right down to the last moment to remind him of that for a year. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And when he hits you, knock you down, hit you three times. And the time the L.A. player put me in a body bag, all oh, you yeah. did was say, uh, somebody called Tim's mama, and you gave it a 10. I do believe I yelled, yeah, too. Yeah or yes, one of the two. Great right now, Kenneth Heich being uh, distracted by that turd. The third. Oh, yeah, that too. It's hard. Did you hear what he called you, Sam? He's over here calling you names. I have never. I am not a turd. I am the third. <laughs> well, last week he smelled like a turd. He got he got the stink face from Rock Rockhead. Rockhead said that he felt a tongue on his rear. <laughs> <laughs> and and Sam Houston, Sam Houston did not deny that. <laughs> he could even tell us what he had for supper that night. <laughs> I'm speechless. This is almost a family show. Yeah. That woman's looking at you, dude. I'm gonna look at her. You know she just come here to see me. It's all she done. She wants to get her hands on you. <laughs> well, now, oh, here comes. Here comes Jack and Snowman. What's he coming out here for? Jack Slaughter should have. He can't do that. What's he coming out here for? I don't know. You don't have any business. <laughs> Snowman, Steve Slaughter. Whoa, the power 
a big race beard. Been helped out to the ring by Jack Slaughter. I think that's the first offensive move Ray's got. So I don't know if this is a tag team partner that they might want to have had out here. I think Jack should have wrestled in, in Steve's place. I don't know. He done got his head kicked. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. He got knocked to you know what out over here. There's a legal tag there. Legal tag there by the team of Desperado and Gangster. Who kicked him? Was it Desperado? No, that was uh, oh, Eric, Andrews. Eric Andrews. Beautiful kick on that top rope. Yes, right in the face. Well, I had already made up my mind. If he was going up that top rope, I was going to tell him I was going to fire him if he came off. Why would you do that? I wasn't going to allow. You've got a wrestler like Eric Andrews. And you get I can't of- allow him to be breaking legs and injuring our other wrestlers. Well, yes, you can. You do all the time. Rockhead fighting back now. Going to pull up his tights and go rumbling, bumbling, stumbling. Oops, and he missed. The no, nobody home corner. Well, I don't know if he's going to do anything. It's, I know exactly what will happen if Steve Slaughter gets in there. He's going to get his leg broke. Particularly, <laughs> particularly with Gangster will go for that knee because that's what Gangster would do anyway on a big man like that. And you know there's another chop block from Desperado coming up. There's the tag. Well, now maybe the Gangster can't see. Oh, Snowman's leg's about melted off there. He made a tag. I don't know if that was a good thing or not. That might have. Would... It don't matter how big you are. <laughs> If you're down on the ground. Kenneth Hyde uh, seems to be trying to get over and get Snowman back out of the ring. Snowman, he tagged. There was a legal tag. Got to get Ray out. Here we go, incoming. Incoming, boom. Oh! Oh! He falls on one, two, three. He got him. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the match by pinfall, the team of Rocket Ray Spears and Snowman Steve Slaughter.